Yes, uh, my ID card says Adriana Diaz, project manager of the eco-design company GmbH Engineering and Management Consultancy. Well, we are a small consultancy advising our clients on three particular areas and it's always, regardless of the product or project, the same way. We do anal analysis, we do improvement assessment and then we do communications. So if you want to improve your product from an environmental point of view, first you have to understand what is the main issue with the product, then you have to find possibilities to improve, improve this particular issue, and then you have to be able to communicate it to your stakeholders, to the public, to the people who are interested in your product or service. And these, in each of these steps, we advise our clients, regardless if it's an electronic product, or a piece of furniture, or a transportation system, any of these products can follow the same methodology. This is what we do. One has to do with materials and how we can improve the material cycles in products like carpets. So this project is about designing new carpet concepts so that you can recycle the materials in the carpet instead of throwing the carpet away or incinerating the carpet and losing these valuable materials. And this is a project at the European level. We are working mostly here in Vienna and interacting with colleagues in several countries. So most of this work is done remotely. So we have a joint communication via specific platform where we share all our documentation and we have regular teleconferences. And every six months we meet in person, all of the participating members of this project, and we share the work and we share the results and discuss the next steps. So next week we are flying to one of these meetings. No, I did not have a family background. My father was an administrator, my mother was a secretary in a scientific foundation, perhaps there was something there, but uh, none of them had a higher degree. And I was a student that was interested in uh, mathematics, biology, chemistry and physics since the very beginning. I liked all of these uh, subjects a lot and I was performing quite well in all of them. And I had a very uh, kind physics professor who advised me to look into chemistry because in Venezuela, the main industry at that time, which continues to be the largest industry of the country, is the oil industry. And it's a possibility for chemistry experts and chemical engineers to work in the country. And this is how decided, I decided to study chemical engineering. And I liked it a lot, actually. I think the question says it at the beginning, uh, very important is to be serious about your interest in a technical or scientific related career and then have a very good reflection on what are your strengths and where are the areas where you can do uh, significant and relevant work, where are the areas where you need to learn and prepare yourself a bit better and uh, all of that regardless if you have to demonstrate it to somebody else, a man or a female colleague, to be able to satisfy your own expectations about how you chose this interest for your path, your career development. This would be my advice, to be honest and consequent with your interest and your capacities to go further.